Well, hello from Tanomi. We're happy to bring to you our first live stream, an international live stream. We have uh, support from the Middle East, Togo, Africa, the USA. We've got a nice agenda. We'd like you to meet some of our Togo, some of our Tanomi family. We'd like to show you a little bit of our about our products, and then we would like to cook. So I'm Scott Smith. I'm working hard to grow the business with my partners, Mike Gorman and Dr. Kojo. And first, if we can, let's meet some of the Tanomi family. First off is our ma master of ceremonies, probably the hardest job today, is Kix Diaz. Hi, everyone. My name is Kix, part of the Tanomi team. Thank you, Kix. And then over to Togo, Africa, Dr. Kojo, can you introduce yourself and Chef Lavadza? Sorry, Dr. Kojo, Dr. Kojo, um, you're, you're on mute. Okay. The most yeah, common phrase of the, of the whole last couple of years. Yeah. Hi, the world. I'm Dr. Kojo Achidenyo from Togo, West Africa. And I'm, I'm glad to have you tonight to talk about our superfoods and our marvelous coffee. Stay tuned. Very nice. Next up, we have Mama Carmela. Say hello, Mama Carmela. Hi, I'm Carmela Baroni Smith, and I'm ready to cook. <laughs> By the way, we call her Mama Carmela because she's actually my mama. And then <laughs> next, we got Mike Gorman. Say Thank hello, Mike. Hey, Scott. Thanks very much. Hello, everyone. Um, Carmela is being a bit modest there. She's actually our chief sort of testing officer in Tanomi and uh, is with up some really good recipes and um, uh, very happy to, ha to have her as well as uh, Dr. Kojo and, and Chef Lavaza in, uh, in Togo. Uh, as Scott said, my name's Mike. Uh, I look after lots of things. I'm a lawyer by trade, but um, really excited to be part of the Tanomi family and, and really excited for you to see some of the recipes tonight. And I only wish I could cook as well as both Mama Carmela and, and the chef in Togo. Very good. Before we get to the reason we're here, the beautiful cooking, I would like to take just one minute and tell you about our beautiful products. So we actually have four types of flour. Our flour is organic, it's non-GMO, it's hala and kosher approved. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff. We have banana, we have plantain, we have tapioca flour, and our star of today, both of our dishes with our chefs are going to be made from cassava flour. We also have some wonderful and beautiful coffees that Dr. Kojo is going to tell us about. Uh, true, Scott. I mean, let me talk to you about our coffee. And there's a story behind that coffee, and I love sharing. Actually, in coffee species, you have two var variety of coffee. You have Arabica and Robusta. Arabica has a really nice flavor, but low caffeine content. And Robusta, in the other hand, has a very high caffeine content, but the flavor is not that great. So in most of the coffee you will see in the market, is a mix of Arabica and Robusta. And even geneticians have tried to make I a mean, natural Arabista, mixing both genetically. But in Togo, we have a natural Arabista because there is a tree, uh, a flavor tree growing uh, close by the where the coffee is grown. So the cross fertilization between that tree and the coffee gives it a Robusta with a really nice flavor. So we have a natural Arabusta in Togo, and it's one of the premium coffee you can see in the world. Very nice, Dr. Kojo. Thank you, sir. And now let's get to our main event. We have two beautiful dishes, one from Togo, Africa, one from Ohio in the USA. And Kix, where would you like to start? Let's start from Miss Carmela's kitchen. Very nice. Hi, I'm Camilla Baroni-Smith. 
and I, um, my heritage is Italian. My father and mother, my father is from Sicily. My mother dismissed being born in Sicily, but the Italian influence has been very strong in our family. I grew up in my father's restaurants and he taught us well. I have uh, five children, two of them are entrepreneurs, and I guess that makes me part of the Tonomi kitchen, which I'm very proud to be. Um, we're gonna start real quick now with this, with eggplant. I chose eggplant because it's just a, a wonderful vegetable of the season. They're, they're common, they're very easy to work with. The first thing we're gonna do, but uh, before I start, I wanna be very um, clear on this. I do not have an air fryer, but this recipe is wonderful in the air fryer. Uh, right now I have to use a little bit of oil, which I have, I have to do it, that's all. <laughs> but first I have a, a half a cup of cassava flour here. That's the first bowl. The second bowl is one egg. Now, don't be shocked, but this is seltzer water. And I use about a third of a cup of that and it makes the egg just a little bit foamy and it makes it the uh, batter adhere to the, cup, to the egg batter. The third is, this is the hardest part. This is a loaf of, of cassava uh, bread that I made yesterday, but I toasted it today. I sliced it, toasted it, and made breadcrumbs out of it. Here's two cups of breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of parsley, a third of a cup of garlic, fresh garlic that my sister helped me chop today, a tablespoon of oregano, and I also add a, a tablespoon of garlic powder, maybe a little bit more. You really like that garlic taste in this. And then the secret, I have a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. You mix, mix that very well. And now we've got the third bowl of breading. I call this now the new Tonomi breading and they're gonna have to start making this because it's a wonderful breading. What I'm finding out with gluten-free is that it cooks crispier. And I, I like crispy. And it just is a very, very pleasant surprise. I guess it's because it's the gluten's out of the, the recipe. I took the liberty of slicing some eggplant earlier. And very quickly, I want to show you First, we're gonna dip it in the cassava flour. Make sure that it's very well covered. Dip it in the egg. See how foamy that is? And then start with the breading with the flour or with the breadcrumbs here. And you wanna make sure that it gets covered very, very well here. And make sure the oil, if you're cooking it in oil, is hot when you dip it in there. Perfect. We'll get a couple more going here. Because I like for them. You want to fry these this, until they're golden brown. The cassava flour. The egg. My hands are clean. And then again, I just, I really have enjoyed working with these breadcrumbs. <laughs> Dr. Kojo, this is another thing for you to think about over there. <laughs> Tonomi breadcrumbs, gluten-free. I haven't seen any gluten-free breadcrumbs on the market. <laughs> the finished okay. Earlier, this is what they should look like. Everybody's been eating them, that's why you see only half the plate. <laughs> and I'm going to get a 
few more going. You're starting to cook now. You put a little brown. Oh, there they come. These are going to be wonderful. I really wish you can taste the. Me too. They look great. <laughs> yeah, they look good. <laughs> Now this breading, you could use on a lot of things. My son wanted to know why I wasn't making pork cutlets. It's because the first thing I thought of in the season was the eggplant. But it would make a wonderful pork cutlet. You can just see it frying very nice and crispy. I just love that when it's soggy. It's it really does affect the taste. In the air fryer, these will come out just beautiful. My father would be really proud of this. I just wish he were here to see this. He was... When we did cook, he was our biggest critic. But I have to tell you, we learned an awful lot from him. He was a master chef, came from Italy, and developed his trade even better, and became a master chef, owned his own restaurants. Hey, Carmela, did you work in those restaurants? Oh, yeah. Actually, I, well, I hate to tell you my age, but I'm up there right now. But I'll bet you I worked there 70 years out of my 85 doing cooking. So you've done, right? a, you've done uh -huh. a lot of eggplants over the years. That's, yes, you, I you've have. You've done a lot of eggplant parmesan over the years, yeah. But I also taught high school for 40 years. And that's one reason... I think Mike and I got to be such good friends because I had him over to eat him once or twice and he really liked my cooking. He kept coming back and I love that. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I like a lot of good food and Carmela has some of the best. <laughs> Mike was on my academic challenge team in high school. I want you guys to know that. <laughs> this is true and actually, my last year of secondary school, we, we, we won the championship and we yeah. have Carmela's really good food. And as a result of that. It's my hey, Mike. The championship for us. Hey, Mike, why Car uh, Mama Carmela's cooking? Uh, in addition to being a family, we've got a strong social mission. Can you tell our new friends about what we're trying to do? Yeah, listen, of course. I mean, you, you know, it's not just um, good food and that that Tenomi flour produces. It's also good causes and and and, and good reason um, that we're doing what we're doing. So you, you know, you might wonder why uh, all of these this diverse group comes together uh, around um, agricultural products, flowers, gluten free flowers, and coffees in West Africa. And, and the simple answer is, you know, this is not. Um, th this is not just about bringing products to the U.S. It's about, you know, the, the word empowerment and, and providing ways for people to have new markets for their products um, uh, in, the, in the United States and elsewhere. And, and that was one of the central things that united all of us uh, for doing this. And some of the social empowerment um, pathways, I'd almost call them, they're not programs, they're not handouts, they're pathways. They're ways for us to provide markets for, for farmers in, in West African countries, particularly Togo. And so, you know, what we wanted to do was not just provide um, those markets, but also provide, um, provide opportunities. And we thought the best way to provide opportunities is to, you know, give a little bit of what we're doing back into certain programs in the communities where our farmers are from, where we, we want to see um, that growth. And that's what we do. So it's all uh, that social empowerment, all around things that matter to us around education, around mobility related to that for 
women and for anyone, you know, where we're trying to do that. And that's really one of the key things about Tanomi is, is good products, but also, you know, good social missions, empowerment. And, it, you know, I don't think a lot of people outside of Africa realize this, but there is so much potential in West African agriculture in helping them um, and empowering them to, to, to um, make better use of the beautiful land and the rich soil that they have. And so, you know, that's part of what we're doing here is providing that market for a really good product, i.e. a product that is just cassava if it's tapioca or cassava flour, or it's just plantains if it's plantain flour, or it's just green, green bananas if it's, if it's the banana flour. Uh, and, and using that as a means for people to develop. Yeah, Carmela. Okay, I want to finish up here. I'm starting to take these out and I'd like to show you how nice and golden brown. And I'm going to cut into one to show you what they look like inside. How nice and She used to always do this to me when I was her student as well. You know, it's the lawyer in me. I always want to keep talking, but she's got to take control. That's Go ahead, nice Carmela. They look. They're delicious. There's people here waiting to grab them. That's why I want to show them to you. And I'm very anxious great. to see what the other recipe is like. <laughs> so, here comes <laughs> so I hope that that uh, I really you have to think about the breading, the breadcrumbs. I think I have not seen any gluten-free breadcrumbs. And, and I made my own, but it was well worth it because I also made some bread, <laughs> so. Very I, nice. Thank you, Mama Carmela. Save me some of those, I'll get them tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> so I love you guys. <laughs> and now this should be fun. Uh, Dr. Kojo and Chef Lavanza. I'm very interested to see what the chef is going to make for us. Uh, thank you, Scott. You know what? We, we're lucky tonight. Instead of one dish, we asked Chef Lavanza. He decided to do two. Awesome. One with a white meat with a, a chicken breast, and the second one with shrimp for people that like seafood. So now we're going to go to Chef Lavanza to see what he's working on. Because Chef Lavanza is francophone, a French speaker, I might be forced to translate oh, right. what he will be saying. So, Chef Lavanza, the floor is yours. Kojo, you might need to help. We can't hear him. Okay. Uh, can you raise a bit your voice? Okay, go ahead. So, Chef Lavaza is saying that tonight he's going to offer you two dishes, one with the Tonomi cassava flour, and the second one with the tonomy planted flour. So he's going to use the local shrimp, the local gambas. To do a sh shrimp fritter. Using the cassava flour. So, uh, dis-nous comment tu vas, tu vas le faire. Okay. Donc, pour commencer, nous prenons un bon. So, he said, you need, uh, for these dishes, a clean shrimp. So, the shrimp has been cleaned with water and lemon already. So, now he's going to use how many, uh, four eggs. Or how many eggs? Two, Two eggs. So you break the eggs.
And you add, you add to that broken egg uh, ground pepper. Garlic. You said? A, a bit of salt. Uh, and chopped parcel. So you whip the mix. So the mix of the egg, the broken the eggs and uh, the spices. Then you add around 200 grams of cassava flour. And you whip it again. So they said the doubt is a bit thick. Because you need to have a light doubt. If the doubt is too thick, you add a bit of water to make it light. So now he's tasting it to see the taste. So he has the, let me maybe show you the texture of the light. That. So you take the shrimp by his tail. And you and you dip it inside the light doubt. And you leave it inside for one minute to soak and marinate. And you always hold it by the tail. And after a minute, okay, so you take it to, you dip it into an oil and get, it's using a sunflower oil. So you dip it into an, an, uh, an oil, uh, maybe the, 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 the heat, the, the, water the, the oil temperature should be around 140 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, 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 and that's what you got the results. So that's the end product. So you have the shrimp fritter done by Chef Lavanza. I think wow. we now need to move to the second product. That will be the pan chicken. But this time, Chef Lanza is going to use the planted flour. Yeah. So you, you have the chicken breasts already clean and washed. And cut in slices. So you can still use the doubt. I mean, this time is, you don't add the. Okay, so this in this case you have your eggs and the, the spices. Yeah. 
Now it's going to open the plantain flower. So he's going to put the plantain flour inside the mix of spicy and uh, spices and egg. So It's going to also ask, uh, add some mixed herbs. The ground pepper. The garlic. And again, you whip it together. You use the whisk to turn it. Again, you check the taste of the doubt. Then you take the slice, a uh, chicken breast, and you soak it inside. So he's showing you the showing us the flour he's using. So the plantain flour. So you you dip you, you you soak it inside the egg and spices. And now you put it inside the flour. So you kind of turn it inside the flour. You turn it so that the flour covers the whole slash chicken breast. And you give it, you give it like one or two minutes. So after two minutes, it will take it will do, do go for a deep fry. And this time he's using olive olive oil. And also it needs to be that the oil temperature should need to be between 140 to 150 Fahrenheit. And you deep fry it for three minutes maximum, around three minutes. So he's showing you other flowers he also use so you can yes see the banana flower and the tapioca flower. So he's saying that I mean if you're doing the pan uh chicken, you can either use the tapioca flower, the banana flower, the plantain flower, or the cassava flower. You can use either uh, either of the flowers to do the same thing. Now he's ready for a deep fry. So you let him fry for three minutes.
And our chef Lavaza is showing us the end product, and that looks very yummy. On a the So you have like a golden type of pan chicken. I can't wait to taste it. Scott, should I send some, some to you by FedEx? I would like that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Impeccable. La couleur, la texture, tout est incapable. C'est vraiment, vraiment très joli. It's an incredible and beautiful food and very oh. yummy. Tasty. Très joli. C'était excellent, oh. chef. So tonight we have two dishes. We have the shrimp fritter and the pan chicken. And we have used two flowers. For the pan chicken, we use the plantain flour. And for the shrimp fritter, we use the cassava flour. Over to you, Scott. Very nice. Hey, for our audience that is listening, do you have any questions for the Tanomi team? Is there anything that we can answer or clarify? Kicks is looking for us. Okay, so listen, um, if you have any questions, you can certainly contact us on our website. Uh, you know, I've known Dr. Kojo for almost 25 years. And when he mentioned he wanted to go back to Togo to try to create employment and do a lot of good things for the people of Togo, I certainly wanted to be a part of that journey and a part of that family. So we would ask you to come be a part of our Tanomi family. Um, again, great products, uh, fantastic flowers, uh, non-GMO, gluten-free, organic, all of the things you would want, fantastic, uh, robusta coffee. So again, um, to try to enlarge our family, we're happy to offer a discount, a coupon for our products if you come to our website. And we are tonomisuperfoods.com. And our coupon code is going to be put on the screen in about a second. Maybe two seconds. <laughs> Hi guys, um, we'll drop the, the coupon codes uh, inside the groups and the comment section. Perfect kicks, thank you. So again, thanks for joining us. Please, on our website, give us any feedback. If you'd like to see something different, if you'd like to see different recipes made, thanks to uh, Chef Lavanza. Thanks to Mama Carmela for cooking for us. Dr. Kojo, uh, Mike, our partners, and of course, our master of ceremonies, Kix, for keeping us all in line. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, bye-bye. Come on, bye-bye.